So the transfer we'll work on today is the anterior transfer. It's a nice transfer to get started with your patients because it doesn't require a lot of momentum or use of specific coordination and it's a great way to get them down to the ground either to practice getting back up again to do floor exercises or if they just want to get down to be with family. Uh, so the first thing obviously we need to do is scoot forward towards the edge of our chair here. If your patients do have a little bit more dump in their wheelchair, this is going to be a little bit harder to execute. And also when it comes down time to bend forward, they are going to need a bit more hip flexion. So just be on the lookout for that. The next thing we do, we tuck our feet underneath of us. From here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk our hands down along the side of the wheelchair here. You wanna keep one hand a little bit higher up for stability, but you can also walk the other hand down and then out in front of us key thing here, once you're at this point, make sure those arms are on the outside of your legs and that they're not getting crossed in between. So from here, we're going to put our other hand down. We're just going to slowly walk ourselves forward and out. From this point on, we want to make sure we get onto all fours and we get past that 90 degree angle at the hip. And from there, we can spin and onto the ground. Uh, something to keep in mind for patients that have difficulty, that don't have hip flexion range of motion, or have a lot of HO, this is going to be a more difficult transfer for them because as you can see, a significant amount of hip flexion is required in order to get down and walk those hands out.